Hey everyone, it's your girl B to the U K K Y. Yeah, that's right, Bookie. Yeah. Um, today I'm gonna be making um French fries with um chicken drumstick, and I'm gonna be using my active fry. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be using the Tifa um active fry for the French fries and the chicken drumstick. So um, I already got some fries right here, which has been cut like um the way you call chips French fries. So it's already been cut. I use um a fresh potato, so I'm gonna cut. Uh, this is too small, so I just want more of the potato. So I'm gonna cut. I don't want to close it yet. So I'm gonna cut more of this. This is me. This is how it is. And just push this down. Just push it, push it down. Oh, it's probably so stubborn today. Yep. We got it. This is what we got right there. So I'm gonna put this in here. My potato is already been rinsed anyway. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. And uh, where's my spoon? Yeah, the spoon that came with the package. It was inside the package when I bought the hatchet fries. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil like that. Not even up to a tablespoon. Just gonna put it in the, in the fries and mix it together so the uh, the salt can all mix together. So, and um, I'm gonna close this and let this go to work. Okay. okay. Now, while that goes to work, I think I'm gonna cut more of the potato. I don't know, my hearing is just being stuck on my clothes. Hey. All right, yeah, so I want to cut more of the potato while that is cooking. And like I said, it's going to take about 10 minutes. I need to set this to 10 minutes. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Can you see that? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes right there. Yep. So I'm going to let that cook while I cut more of the, um, the potato. Yep. Right there, it's cut in shape of a, a fries. You see that? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna leave that aside. And um, what else am I gonna be doing? Oh yeah, this is my drumstick. It's already been rinsed and everything like that. Normally, I heard that you don't have to rinse chicken when you buy, but I just um, me I rinse my chicken. I, I rinse pretty much everything. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of salt, just a little bit, yep, and I'm um, going to put this all-purpose spice inside, and of course, my pepper, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper inside. And some herbs. I'm gonna put this herb inside and uh, mix it. I don't want to mix it with my hand because my my nails. I don't want the food to get stuck in my nails. So I'm just gonna use a um, spoon and just mix it. You see this? Yeah. So I'm just gonna mix it just for them all to just you know get spice up. So make sure that um all this chicken. They get enough spice because they need spice in their life. To taste for for this chicken to taste good, they gotta be spiced up. Yeah, so I have to make sure that I spice up everything. And um yep. I think they're all spice right now. All spice. So I'm just gonna wait for the fries to get that. It's gonna take a while because it's a fresh um fresh one from the scratch, so it's a fresh potato that I'm using. I assume it is a frozen one, it shouldn't take that much time, but um, since it's a fresh potato, so it's gonna take some time. So, um, I'm just gonna mix it now. You can leave it like I said before, um, the last time, you don't have to, but I just like to butter this after fryer. So, yeah, so it's cooking. It should be done soon. And um, while that is cooking, I'm just gonna do make my high tea. I just, I just love iced tea, especially with this weather. Iced tea is the best thing 
something to drink in this kind of weather. Yeah, so I'm gonna make my high tea. Oops, but I broke something. Yeah, I'm gonna make my high tea. Raise my cup. Yep. And um, maybe just like tablespoon, one tablespoon of the high tea. Better. And close this bag. Put it back. Gonna get me some water, and I just find an alpha cup of water in here. Oh, and of course, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix the high sea with the water like that. Mix, 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 mix. You can mix until you, you don't see the um right here. So you don't see the sugar. And because these this I see has sugar inside this so they I think that there's there's a um there's rare that you don't there's no um it's sugar free. But this has sugar. Just a little bit of sugar, not too much sugar though. Yeah. Put it just put this one down. And um I'm gonna get my lemon because I like to put lemon in there. Get my lemon. I just cut my lemon. And then. And then. Yep, that inside. And then mix the lemon with the high C together. And I'll put this in the fridge and let it chill. Yep. Getting my salt ready. I'm putting in my high C in the fridge. And then I'm gonna bother these fries again. Check how he's doing. All right, see, we're getting there. You can see it's getting brown already. So I'm just gonna like just mix it like that. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Yeah, we almost done. Yep, he's looking nice. Looking nice, baby. Yeah. Yep. Just put it back in. Close the lid. While we get ready, we put this bag in this bag, okay? And um, we have enough potato right here. Okay, this is looking really, really, really good. This is are we all? You can't, let me see if we can make sure that you all see this. This is looking good. You see that? It's looking good. Okay. You know what I want to do? I want to make some... I want to make some waffles with chicken. Yes. I want to make some waffles. I'm, I'm going, I don't want to use the regular flour, so I'm using the pancake, um, pancake flour and also you can use it for waffles. So, um, while this is cooking, let me make my, uh, some waffles. Just, I can, I can just put in like two tablespoons in here. And when I'm making my waffles, I usually add oatmeal because I don't want like to, I don't like to use too much flour. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use, um, oatmeal, cereal, um, oatmeal, yeah. I'm going to use some oats. This is the golden cereal flavor. I'm just going to use a liter, just pour a little inside it and mix it together. 
just a little bit. It's, this is the flour and the oatmeal. I think the British people, they call it pot, uh, pur porridge. Yeah, porridge. So just mix it together like that. You can use water or milk, but I think I'll just use water. I'll use some water. Let's pour in some water. Just uh, one top water, or maybe half a cup of water. Just pour this inside, and then you mix it together. I don't know why this is, yeah, just mix it like that. Mix it, oh man, I think I think I pour in too much water. <laughs> yeah, if you do that, if you mix up, you know, just, just add a little bit of, just have more flour. Because this is way too watery. It's too watery for the, um, for the waffles. And at the same time, I need to keep an eye on my french fries. Yep. Getting ready, baby. Almost done. Almost, 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 almost done. Almost done. Yep. That's the french fries. All right. Um, just a few more minutes. This will be, the french fries will be done. And um, I'm trying to mix. I want to see if I need more flour or not. But it's seems like it's a little bit watery it's kind of watery so i'm gonna have to put in some more water with this i mean some of the flour i need to put some more flour so i'm gonna put in more pancake mix i need a spoon i'm gonna put in probably like um well, half a half a cup, half a table, half a table spoon of the um, flour. I'll just leave this. I'll set that right here, and then mix it. We just want it to just be a little bit thick, but not too, not too thick and not too watery. So our um, French fries is almost done. I almost got myself on. Okay, let me taste the little. You know I do that a lot when I'm cooking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test them, and test them. You know, this is this is good. Just a few more minutes. Just a few more minutes. I'm gonna have to set it again because our ten minutes is over. So I, I just put in like four more. I just had it four more minutes to it. So while that is cooking, I'm trying to mix this. You can see that you can see the holes inside it, inside the flower. So the holes in the flower, both of them are mixed up right now. Yep. Like I said, with the well, with the water, you can use um, this is um, this is a, a buttermilk pancake milk mix, and you can also use it for waffles. So you can use it for pancake. It's a picture of pancake in front of it, and you can also use it for waffles. Or you can use regular flour. With regular flour, you just need to add um, a little bit of sugar um, and egg if you want to use egg, water, and just mix it and you get your pancake or your um, your waffles. But I just don't want to go through all the adding um, sugar, oil, vegetable oil, so I just want to use the regular pancake mix. So I am going to now I'm going to pour this inside um, the waffle maker. Just want to clean it a little bit. Just wipe it off. Right. Wipe it, wipe it, wipe it off. All right, and um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this oil. Um, I'm gonna use all this oil spray and just spray spray the inside of the waffle maker just for the uh, the waffles not to stick on the waffle maker. And uh, I'm gonna pour this inside. Just make sure they all got it get enough. Yeah, just pour it inside like that. Pour it inside, and then you close the lid and leave it for like maybe probably like. 
five minutes or something. It should be done. You know when it's done, because the green light will come out. Right now it's on red. So when it's done, the green light will come out. So we leave that until it's done and get back to our uh, and get back to our potato. And let's see how our potato is doing right here. So our French fries. It's almost, it's, I wouldn't say it, this is done. I'll taste it again. Hmm. <laughs> this is good. And it's done. This is wrong. So, I'm going to put this in my plate. Put this in my plate. Like that. And I'm just going to wipe this pan. Wipe up the, um... Just wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. You, you can clean it if you want to, but you can just wipe it because it's not that dirty. So you can just wipe it off. Wipe up the fries or the oil of the fries. Wipe it off. And um, I'm going to put my chicken inside the pan. And like I said, with chicken, you don't need any oil. So just pour it in, in there. You can see. And let this get to one. You can set this for like, because this is drumstick, you can just set it for like 15 minutes. So... Let me just let me turn it off first and then turn it back on. It set it to like um, fifteen minutes. Yes. Okay. So that's on fifteen minutes. That's on fifteen minutes. So our chicken is getting ready. Okay, so that is our chicken is cooking and our french fries is ready. See that? If the salt is not good, if it's not good enough for you, you can add more salt. But this is the salt that I had it, it's perfect. I don't want to have too, too much salt. So I'm not a fan of salt. I really don't like salt. Too. I don't like too much salt. Okay. So we're waiting on the chicken to get done. But in the meantime, let me bother you by just, I just, I just like to open it every now and then and just turn it over. Normally, you can just leave it. But me being, being who I am, <laughs> I'm only so nosy and all. I just want to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so just turn it and let it cook. Let it get, get to work. So, as that is cooking, um, I'm keeping an eye on my on my waffles right there. You can see the steam coming out from from the waffle, waffle maker. Yeah, so I'm keeping an eye on that. You can do whatever you want to do. You can still work out. Okay, now let's see. That's the limit for this one back. Okay. Mm, the fry is really, really good. This fry is good. It's good. Mm. All right, I think our wafers is almost done. So I'm trying to get a plate. I'm trying to get my plate ready. I'm going to get my plate ready for my waffles. Let me check on it. All right, let's check our waffles. All right, you can see the green button is right on. It's on right now. So, I'm just going to get my plates. 
pour this and put this inside. Let me get my spoon ready too. Because I don't want to use my hand. Sometimes it gets sticky on the waffle maker and you can't use your hand because you're going to get yourself burned. So I'm just using this to get it out. It's a little bit sticky. I don't know why it's sticky after putting oil inside. I still don't know why it's sticky. But um, anyway, it's all good. Yeah. So we got our work rooms right there. And I'm turn this off. Yep. So when my chicken is ready, I can have my waffles with my chicken. All right. So we got the waffles ready right there. This look good, right? Yeah. I bet I don't drop it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm um, gonna put some strawberry on my waffles. And um, so the, what, the reason why I'm making the, the chicken and the, um, the waffles is you can have chicken and waffles. And if you also want to have egg, like fried egg, you can do it, but I don't want to. So what I want to have with the waffle is um, chicken. So you can see that. That's my strawberry right there, and this is the waffle. See? All right, let me check with my chicken. You know, this is chicken drumstick. So like I said, it's going to take, you know, a longer time to cook. But um, it's, it's getting it's getting there, yeah, so we get it right there. It should be done in the next uh, probably like few minutes. You know, it looks so dry. It's tempting me to add some oil, but I don't want to hide any oil to it. No, don't want to. I don't want no oil. Ah, uh, yeah. So we got like let me see. I can even see. We got a few more minutes. I think I have to reset it. Let me let me do ten minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes right there. So it should be done in 10 minutes. Yeah. And with the uh, wafers, you know, you can have, or you can have it with the uh, whipped cream. Just, you know, spill some whipped cream on top of it, and it's going to taste so good. You're going to like it. Yes. <laughs> and also, you can use, um, you can use syrup. For the wap for the wafers, just a little bit of syrup, but right? I really don't want to use it. But um, I'm just gonna put in a little bit of syrup. This is um hungry jack. Let's put a little bit of syrup on top of the on top of it. And like I said, I don't want to use the syrup. Yeah, that is fine for me. That's just perfect. So you can use a little bit of syrup if you want to um, you can use it with your wafers. Yep. All right, let me check on these chicken. These guys, they are cooking. They are really, really cooking. Yeah, so it should be ready pretty soon. Yep. Yeah. My workers, eh, my workers. What about a thing? Oh, done. You can make it. Hold on. Everything's gonna be alright. I'm eating my fries <laughs> I'm gonna finish it before the end of this video. I tell you that. <laughs> we we'll almost done, baby. Almost done. And you know what, with this fries, you can have it with um, anything of your choice. You can have it with mixed vegetables. You can have it with pretty much anything. You know, you can put some sauce on top of it if you want. You know, but I don't want to do with no sauce. So I just leave that as it is. And put my chicken on top on all it and just eat it with my chicken. And that's it. Yeah. How are we doing, guys? Yeah. Almost done. How much more? Eight small minutes. So in eight more minutes, our chicken drumstick should be ready. So let me try to tidy this place up.
Just to do, I just have to do some tidying up. Got to do some cleaning. <laughs> okay, see, almost done. This is this looks so good. Looks so good, man. Okay. Yeah, we need this. We need to just put it back. And please tell me to stop opening it. <laughs> All right. Um. Let me cover this because I don't like my food to get cold. So I'm just going to cover this with um, aluminum foil. I'm just going to cover it. Yep. And just leave it right here. And cover my fries. Minute. Minute. I'm gonna, we got three 
more minutes. Just three more minutes, and our chicken will be done. So, like I said, you can eat the chicken with um, French fries, and you can also eat it with waffles. You know, it depends on your choice. Depends on how you know how you want to have it. So, whatever you want to do with it, um, with it, do it. It's your choice. Do it. Do it. Yeah. So, let's see. What about a thing? Oh, done. You can make it. Oh, done. Everything's gonna be alright. And you know what? I want you to watch my video. Watch it on YouTube. And you know, I, I just started. So, give me a thumbs up. Like it. And um, I'm gonna have more and more and more and more and more recipe for you. You know, so... Just keep on watching out for my, looking out for my, uh, my video. It's coming up more and more and more. Coming up right for you. Oh, okay, okay. I can see that this is, this is, this is done. Oh yeah, we, uh, this, this one right here is done. Look at how I just spoke this. I think I missed this one off. It's not so late, but that's all right. This is still gonna eat. I'm still gonna eat like that anyway, so. Yeah. You can see, you can see these, we got oil. I don't know if you can see this properly. Let's see. Yeah. We got a little bit of oil right in there. So what's the point of oil, using oil for chicken? No, we don't need that. So let me close it, let me, uh, we got like 37 more seconds. So it should be ready. Put this on, put the, put this on, it should be ready. Yeah. And like I said, the hot place. From this active fryer, it ain't so bad. It's not just so bad, you know. It's not bad. It's not something you put your hands in and you're like, oh my god, no, nothing like that. You can see I'm playing with it. It's not really bad. It's just so cool. You know, you can you can put your hands there and rest on it and do whatever you want to do on it. It's fine. And this is it says 95 percent satisfied. So the customer like 95 percent. Satisfied with this product. Yeah. It's not really healthy to consume a whole lot of oil, you know. You can imagine if I want to fry this, you know, how much oil that I'll be using, you know. So, this is really, really good. Like I said in my last video, it's good. Like, you could notice, I don't know if you know it, like people saying it's good. When I say something is good, just believe me, it is good. It is good. I just like the fact that you can do so many things with it. What you can do is, is just, you know, maybe it's like just maybe french fries or something. You, you, you can just explore with it. Do whatever you want to do with it. Just think about something. Oh, you know what? What can I do with it? What can I do? So just think of something. You can just come up with anything and do anything with it. Like this morning, I put in some bacon. And I I, mean, I, I put some bacon inside me here. And I'll be, I'll be like, maybe two minutes. The bacon is on. You know, so, and normally if I want to do, if I want to cook bacon, it's like cooking on the stove or cooking on the oven. And it takes like maybe 15 minutes for it to get done. But under three, five minutes, your bacon in here is ready. So, like, you know, I waste so much time in using the stove or putting the stuff in the oven. Just get this and make use of it. I just like it. That's why I keep saying get it. Okay, our chicken is not completely done because I can see some pinky, pinky stuff coming from this one because it's this this drum, drumstick is quite big, so it's gonna take longer for it to, to get done. But this small little bitty guy is done. But I'm still gonna leave butter. I'm gonna leave all the three chicken in here and send it to like maybe another. Give me like another. Give me like maybe three more minutes. Three more minutes should be, should be okay. Yeah, it's on three more minutes right there. So we got three more minutes left. So we should be done. So, I because I'm hungry, I need to start nibbling on my food. So this thing needs to hurry up. Yeah, needs to hurry up. Oh my gosh. Just look at the oil. It's like they're dancing. I can see the oil dancing inside this thing. You know, the oil are just like, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> they're having a good time. Yes, they're having a good time. 
you know, now it's the whole just like dripping inside the pan, you know, all having a good time, having a wonderful time. I like that though. <laughs> it's really good that they're having a nice time. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I know this is okay, so I'm gonna do this more of the I'm going to take this small chicken, the small chicken that is done, I'm going to take it out, Oops. here's some of this now, and put this chicken right here, cover this bag, let this one continue to cook, put it on top of my uh, my waffles, look at that, and like I said, you can use whipped cream on your waffles, just like that, let see. Oops. Let's do that. Don't you just love this? Look at that. And you know what? Some people they put water, I mean butter, on top of the waffles. But no, I don't I don't want to do butter. No, I don't want to do that. So this is this is perfect. So this is good. This is really, really good. Um I need to take a picture of this. I need to take a picture of my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful workers. Wonderful workers with my whipped cream. And I'm gonna taste it. I'll definitely let you know how it, what, how it tastes. So, give me a minute. Let me get on my cup, Larry. So, this is my workers right there. Yep, 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 yep. And just dip it inside the whipped cream. Oh, mm, 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 mm. This is Evan. This is. Mm, mm, mm. This is. Let me finish my, the foot of my mouth. Mm. This is good. This is so good. And let me taste the chicken as well. Mm. This chicken is good. This chicken is good. Not too spicy, not too salty. It's just perfect. It is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And if you want more whipped cream on top of it, because I think I'm tempted. <laughs> I've been tempted. I've been tempted to pour in more of the whipped cream. You know, oh, this is good. This is perfect. Okay. I can hear the uh, the beeping. Letting us know that chicken is done. The timer. So let me cook, cook the chicken. Put my fork inside and see if we're gonna see any pinky, 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 pinky stuff. But this looks like it's done as well. This is done. But I just want it to be like, make sure that it's all the way done. Because I don't want to be eating and be seeing any blood. You know what I'm saying? You know? I think it's fine. And it's fine. So. I'm just gonna put one of the chicken with my fries. What do you think? This is nice, right? This is really, really nice. Yep. And just take a picture. Oh, done. Change is coming. Oh, done. Don't worry about a thing. So, we got our french fries and the chicken drumstick. We got it ready using our active, um, active fry, T4 active fry. And although I did not make the waffles in here, I used a waffle maker, but the chicken was done using the active fry. So, you see this delicious meal right here? They call me my name. And this, they're calling my name. I can hear them so horrible. They call me my name. So I need to I need to answer. When someone is calling you, you gotta answer, right? Yeah. 
So, <laughs> thank you so very much for watching this video. Like and subscribe on my YouTube. Thank you.